All right, we're about to get started here. As a reminder, if you got any questions, raise your hand, put in the chat. Trey Booty, want to kick us off, please? Hey guys, hey Jordan. Um, I was curious about your uh, your debut. What do you think about getting started in your Razorback career and, and having a, a strip sack and fumble recovery? Uh, honestly, first I have to start off by just talking about the atmosphere of the entire place. Uh, it was really electric, something that I've really never seen before uh, up close and personal. You know, you always see a bunch of places where you can see on TV, the crowds are getting into it, but it's nothing like actually feeling the electricity in the air that was there. So uh, just being able to go out there and play and everything worked out in my favor. The defense uh, ran the defense that we played well, uh, and it just ended up with me having to be able to make a play. So uh, it was just an amazing experience. Uh, thankful for all the defense that we've done. Thankful for everybody that played. Uh, thankful for everything, for real. Just to be able to come out here and you know make a statement with my first game, and you know hopefully many more to come. And Jaden, you had a touchdown catch. Uh, had a uh... Had a carry also, had a few catches total. What do you think about your debut? And and also, like Jordan said, the, the environment there on Saturday. Yeah, the environment, it, it was amazing. Uh, it's obviously, obviously something I'm used to. And uh, I hope it, it gets better and better every week, you know. And uh, from, my, from a debut standpoint, I feel like we all, as an offense, we had a debut as well because it's a lot of new faces. And uh, I feel like we, we, we made kind of a statement. I feel like we got more in the tank. And uh, we're going to get better every week. Not satisfied at all. Thanks, guys. Bob? Hey, uh, Jaden, I remember Sam Pittman talking early in camp that, you know, you you didn't get here until the fall. Maybe it took you, you know, I mean, I mean you, you got there last spring. Maybe it wasn't until the fall that you started feeling comfortable. Kind of what's your comfort level now with, uh, KJ and everybody in the offense and just, you know, being here and everything? Uh, i say I was always comfortable. Um, obviously, I wasn't healthy in the spring, and uh, we had a little more time to, you know, get back right and get those, get the timing down during during the uh, summer, you know, uh, fall camp. But then that's when everything kind of got unleashed, and, every, and it was shown, and the coaches actually get to see it. Um, but those, those late nights and, and, and times that people didn't see, that, that's what really made it how it is. And and to be honest, I feel like the world still haven't really seen it, if we're being real. Um, so we got a lot of work to do. Uh, we got a lot. We don't have anything to prove to anybody. We got a lot to prove to ourselves, though. And um, I know Shane Beamer didn't coach your position, but he talked about knowing you today. And, and obviously, you played with Spencer Rattler. So what, what do you think about going against those guys, you know, some of your old Oklahoma guys? Uh, they both they both some competitive guys. Uh, I like Coach Beamer. He was a great coach when I was there. Uh, it's gonna be fun. I can't wait to I can't wait to have a face off with him. And I know you're not facing Shane, obviously, on the field, but what, what do you think about him being over there at South Carolina? Uh actually he when he left, he I really respect, I respect him. Um when he left, he actually stayed for the bowl game and 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 you know he he was there, even though he had got that head coach job, he stayed and after the season was over, that's when he shifted over and went. And, uh, he, and he actually kept it real with his players that was there. And uh, I kind of respected that. And, and, and then you, could you just, I think uh, KJ hit you like with three DBs around you the other day. Uh, and that was a great shot of you jumping up in the air. What kind of, could you describe that play and kind of how that felt? Uh, it was just trust. Um, I mean, I've done it before. <laughs> I've made crazy catches. I don't know how to do it. Uh, it's just. It's just a blessing from God, to be honest. Uh, and it's really just him, you know, being comfortable, giving me the opportunity, to be honest. And uh, I got to make do with any opportunity. Ain't no telling when it's going to come back. So got to got to make it count. Thanks, guys. Tom? Yeah, hey, Jordan. Um, Bumper pool on Saturday called your move like a classic move on the, on the strip sack. Can you maybe describe how that play went down? Um, honestly, if we want to talk about that play, we have to talk about just the entire defensive effort before. Uh, every defensive end that was coming in was getting a good pass rush up, uh, moving up the field, trying to get around the edge, giving it speed, speed, speed. So we were just setting it up for my perfect play. Uh, 
I was working speed on him. He finally opened up his hips. So I just decided to counter back with a spin move. It worked out in my favor and we were able to go in <clears throat> and I was able to make a play. It was just a execution. good move. Execution, exactly. <laughs> it was just execution stuff stuff that we work in practice every single day. Just keep working speed, speed, speed. And then once you finally have them, you can counter back in. Uh, that's just not even a play on me. That was a play on the entire defensive line, just coming all day, every day, uh, just coming into work and then just showing up on Saturday and putting me in the perfect position to make that play. I think there were people concerned about your depth at D-tackle and D-in going into the season. What, how would you describe where you guys stand right now in terms of depth? Uh, when it comes to depth, I don't really think about that. I'm more so just... They have me listed as second string right now on the Jack personnel and everything like that. Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter because you're going to rotate. We're going to rotate. Everybody's going to get a chance. Everybody's going to get their shot to play. So whether you're first string, second string, third string, a reserve, somebody could get hurt, somebody could go down. You just got to be ready to step up, next man up. And that's how I really was thinking about it. Uh, I just wanted to be able to play, and I don't really count the amount of plays I get. I just want to try and make those plays count, you know? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Jaden, uh, people are high on South Carolina's uh, corners and their nickels. Um, what, what do you think of the personnel that you guys are going to be facing on Saturday? Um, I look at it as just like they think we got to see them. They got to see us as well. So, uh, I mean, that that's all I really got on that. I mean, he's a great player. They got great players. We got great players. So, they made the best win. All right. Jade, you mentioned earlier the, that y'all aren't satisfied as an offense. What, what maybe some areas that y'all are focusing on, you know, improving or, or points of emphasis this week? Uh, just being crisp, um, less MAs, uh, less drops, even though we didn't have that many. Um, just, just trying to play a perfect game, to be honest. Uh, I mean, nobody's perfect, but you always want to strive for that. You always want to make goals that you, you know you may not reach. But at the end of the day, you, you're going to fall short, but you should be okay where you fall short at you know, and uh, and be comfortable at that level and, and, and you know, just keep getting better every week. You know, we, we got some explosive dudes on that offense, whereas Rocket, Matt Landers, Seriously. Warren, Trey Knox, the old lines blocking their tail off. I mean, so we're just trying to all be a complete offense and just execute at least 90% of the game, you know? And Jordan, what about you? I mean, what about the defense? Is there any points of emphasis for y'all this week or maybe areas you're trying to clean up after watching the film? Uh, really just everything, anything and everything we could really improve on, you know? Like if we didn't have too many missed assignments, we may have had one or two, a few explosive plays that were held on us that we just went back and watched film and just saw. But pretty well, we played a pretty well game uh, for defense uh, all around. D-line was getting knocked back on the offensive line. We were playing up front pretty well, pretty physical. Uh, the back end was working. They were doing everything they needed to do. Um, obviously, we had some busts here and there, which led to a couple touchdowns, a couple of big plays. But that's just something that we just got to come in the next week, you know, this week that we're working now, and just get right, just focus up and make sure, like Jaden said, we're just working to get a perfect game. And even if uh, you're shooting for the moon, you don't make it to the moon, you're going to land them on the stars, you know. So either way, you try and work that perfect game. And the better you get each week to week, you just got to keep grinding and keep stacking days. Scotty. It, Jordan, I think Saturday was your seventh career forced fumble. Is there like a, is there a trick to it? Or do you just, how have you been able to, to pop so many balls free? Uh, I guess you just got to keep going. My, I've just been playing football for as long as I can remember. Ever since I was able to walk, I've just been able to play football. And I've just been playing see ball, go get ball. So you just got to have the perfect opportunity. It just works out for you in my favor. Thankfully, uh, it's able to been working out for me. And I know it's going to work out for more of my teammates too. Like Nudie was able to get himself a turnover. Uh, I've seen a few people in practice just go for the strip sack every time, go for a strip, get the ball out and just pick it up. And that's what just be working on every day. Uh, work on just getting that ball out, getting turnovers. That's our main focus. That's our main goal. Turnovers can really swing the game and create momentum or lose momentum depending on how you take it. So just to be able to go out there and make something happen that I've done before, I was just happy to be able to be a part of that and a part of the success that the Arkansas Razorbacks had. Yeah, and Jordan, I don't think we talked to you in the preseason either. So I'm kind of curious what your story is or, or maybe what people should know about you and kind of what makes you tick. Uh, <laughs> there's really not much to know about me. Uh, 
I came from Georgia Tech. Uh, I'm a grad transfer. I am working on my operations management degree right here, right now. Uh, I came out here because the entire vibe of Arkansas as a whole was just amazing. You know, from the fan base to the coaching staff to the players, everybody treated me like a true family. Everybody treated me like a like somebody that belonged. You know, I found some place that I really felt like I belonged and they've been treating me like that ever since. So uh, a lot about me, I love anime, that's something I do. Uh, that's just the main thing for real. Uh, I love to cook, I like to go out and do things, but you know, football is my number one passion. That's just me. I've been playing since I was about four years old and just to be able to just go out there every single day and just know whether I'm feeling good, bad or whatever, all of my pain and all of my I don't know what you could say, uh, mental inadequacies. They all just melt away anything that I'm feeling that's on my chest. It just melts away whenever I step in between those lines. So I just want to be able to play as long as I can. Thanks, man. I appreciate you sharing. Yes, sir. Mason? Yeah, Jaden, Saturday was your first time to get to, you know, play in a, in a real game atmosphere with K.J. Jefferson as your quarterback. I'm just curious, you know, what you thought of him. Uh, K.J. has been amazing. Uh, before I I was even here, <laughs> so uh, just being able to help him contribute, uh, block for him when he ran the ball, and it it's fun, you know. I feel like I'm actually having fun with the game again, and my passion is starting to show again. And you know, I, I just feel like I'm back. KJ is gonna be KJ and and be a great player, great leader, great quarterback. Uh, and yeah, the offense just gonna keep rolling. And then there on that first defensive drive, Nudie got that pick. I'm just curious what you've been seeing from him in practice, you know, and you guys ever get at it together? Uh, we see each other in the fall. We saw fall camp. We saw each other a couple times, and and that's, we, we got each other's respect for sure. Um, Definitely. He, he's great, great technician. Uh, he just a, he's just a sound DB, man. Uh, I, I love the way he plays. I love his energy. I, he's a funny dude. Uh, really one of the guys, one of those guys I hang with off the field, to be honest. All right, come back around. Final two questions, Trey and Bob. Uh, yeah, I had a question for you, Jaden. About um, have you, have you, have you? Nobody knows Spencer Rattler probably better than you do. Have you helped the the Arkansas defense at all with uh, any scouting stuff or tendencies? Have you been asked any of that stuff? Uh, no, nah, man. I think Coach Odom, he, he, he pretty confident. I, I'm confident as well in our defense. So uh, I, I doubt he needs me. He, he, he's the, uh, he's, he's a mastermind. So he, he, got, he gonna do what he got to do and I'm gonna do my job. He's the good. <laughs> and, uh, and Jordan, I wanted to ask you about, um, they return a lot of experience up front on the offensive line and, and also have a couple of good tight ends. Uh, the transfer, the other transfer Stogner, I believe his name from, uh, from OU and, uh, mm -hmm. And Bell also, uh, and run, they run some wishbone stuff, a lot of different stuff. But what do you, what are your thoughts on? Um, I guess some of the guys that you'll be going up against more the tight ends and and uh, an offensive line. Uh, from what I've seen on film, they're a pretty physical team. They play well together. They seem to have you know got a little cohesion on their offensive line within their tight ends and everything. Uh, basically, we just want to come out and be the most physical team. That's our main goal every day. Just come out and be as physical as we can. Start fast. Jump on them and get moving at that point. Um, I know that I've watched a couple of films on the D tackle, oh, not the D tackle, the offensive tackles and the tight ends, and they're pretty sound with their techniques and everything. I'm trying to, you know, find little, find little tendencies that I can try to exploit just the same way they're going to try and do with our D line and everything like us. So it, now it's just really a focus up week of just physicality, footwork, just make sure everything's technically sound. And we just got to be the more technically sound team. Uh, technically sound team, if we want to win, that's just us. And I know that we can do that. We have the potential to do that, and that's what we're striving for every day. Thanks, fellas. So I'll have last one. Yeah, um, the, the Jordan. I, I, you know, I know Georgia Tech's a great place. I'm sure you had a good time there, but you know they struggled to win. What's it like going from a program that was winning three games to a program that's ranked and? Um, has really high expectations? Uh, it's a very different vibe, you know, like you can really tell where the things are going. You can really see uh, how bothering everybody is. Uh, when I was at Georgia Tech, it was a buy-in, it was a process and everything. And although we struggled, we still had a family type bond. Everybody was still with each other. Everybody had each other's backs. It's got tight at times, but just coming out here and seeing uh, how everybody out here plays, how everybody treats each other, just 
how tight, how the cohesion that we have out here just as a unit, the whole team, not just certain individual groups with D-line and wide receivers and quarterbacks. No, it's like, if I want to go and talk to a quarterback, I can go talk to a quarterback and there's going to be no animosity. I want to go talk to an old lineman. I can go talk to an old lineman. Anybody can go up and share advice with everybody. And everybody's willing to listen. Everybody's willing to talk to you. Everybody's willing to, you know, just exchange ideas, just be able to talk. Like I can go up and talk to my boy Cam Ball about anything. He's my locker mate. I can talk to him about anything. And I know he's going to have some advice for me, whether it be on the field, off the field, personal or anything like that. And uh, I still have those connections with people at Georgia Tech, too. I've talked to a few players on the D-line and a few other players uh, after the game yesterday with them to keep their head up. I know they're going to be a good team, but you can really tell the difference between uh, Georgia Tech and here, just the atmosphere, just the entire buy-in, just everything like that as well. It's just an amazing experience, and I'm just happy to be here. We forgot to ask you about being code SEC defensive player, uh, lineman of the week. What'd you think of that? And you don't see that very often when a guy plays off the bench. Uh, appreciate you, man. And it's, it's a huge honor. I honestly have to give the honor to my teammates, though, because they're the ones that came into the game. They were the ones that made those huge plays. Like, I made one big play, but our D line was up there on a third down stop, a uh, three large line stop with goal line. You know, they were able to turn the tide of that game. They kept their momentum. Nudie with the pick, you know, defense just had multiple plays throughout the game and offense was able to convert and make their plays too. So although I got the honor, I'm thankful for the honor. The honor really belongs to the whole team, the whole defense and everything like that, because one play doesn't really determine a game, you know, everything determines. And if you go back and watch, you see our entire defense working, our entire offense working, and we just played the way we wanted to play. And now it's just on to the next week. Now it's time to stack days. Now it's just time to get better, just go back into the lab and just work. Hey, thanks. Congrats.